Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide from an excised lymph node with Hodgkin lymphoma. Before we look at the microscopy in detail, let's have a recap on Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma is a hematolymphoid malignancy, and interestingly, it has bimodal age peaks. For example, it can occur in children, teenagers, and young adults, and also later in life. It tends to involve nodal sites. In other words, it is very rare to have extranodal Hodgkin lymphoma, and this is in contrast with non-Hodgkin lymphomas. And when it does involve the nodal sites, for example, cervical or mediastinal lymph nodes, it spreads to the next contiguous nodal site. Again, in contrast, non-Hodgkin lymphomas can involve non-contiguous nodal sites at the same time. Some of the patients may have systemic symptoms such as fever, loss of weight, or night sweats. And the WHO has actually classified Hodgkin lymphoma into two main groups. We have the classical group, which has four types, nodular sclerosis, the commonest, mixed cellularity, the next commonest, and then lymphocyte-rich and lymphocyte depletion types. And then there is the other major type, which is nodular lymphocyte predominance, Hodgkin lymphoma. We also have a video showing the gross features of Hodgkin lymphoma on a virtual pathology specimen, and you can access this in the same YouTube channel or also on our web resource, PathWeb, in the Virtual Pathology Museum. This also allows you to interact directly with this specimen. Microscopically, Hodgkin lymphoma is recognized by the presence of Reed-Sternberg cells, which has a few variant appearances. The classical Reed-Sternberg cell is usually a cell with a single multi-lobated nucleus or several nuclei, most often two nuclei, which are very large and which contain macronucleoli or extremely prominent nucleoli. You can see this is a binucleated Reed-Sternberg cell. And here is another binucleated Reed-Sternberg cell with a very large nuclei and the macronucleoli, which are so large that they approximate the size of a small lymphocyte. We also have a mononuclear variant where there is only one nucleus with a prominent macronucleolus and a lacuna cell variant where you can see that the cell with the large nucleus and nucleolus is actually sitting almost in an empty space. And we have the non-classical Hodgkin lymphoma or the nodular lymphocyte predominance Hodgkin lymphoma showing the L and H cell. This stands for lymphocytic and histiocytic cell. And these cells are sometimes called popcorn cells because they don't have such prominent nucleoli, but their nuclei may be multi-lobed. And it's also quite common to see these very degenerate, what we call mummified cells or mummified Reed-Sternberg cells. So these cells look like they are a little bit shrunken with a smudgy dark nucleus. Let's go back to our microscopic slide. At low magnification, we can see that this lymph node has a somewhat nodular outline. And in between the nodules, we can see these pink fibrous bands. Let me just zoom in. There are these fibrous bands between the nodules. So we have areas of nodular architecture and we have sclerosis. Hence, this is nodular sclerosis subtype of Hodgkin lymphoma. And this is one of the four patterns of classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Let's look around. We can see that mostly the cells that we see are lymphocytes and there are also some paler areas which are rich in macrophages. For example, here are some macrophages with abundant cytoplasm and quite pale nuclei. Here is another macrophage with abundant cytoplasm and there are many small lymphocytes admixed with these cells. Let's have a look at some of the Reed-Sternberg cells. Here is an example of a classical Reed-Sternberg cell, which is binucleated, and the cell itself is very large, which contains large nuclei with macronucleoli. And if you compare this nucleolus with the size of a small lymphocyte, you will see that it is actually as large as a small lymphocyte. So this is a classical Reed-Sternberg cell.
Here we see a mononuclear reed Sternberg cell with only one nucleus, but still with that macronucleolus. And again, we can see that this is a very large cell in comparison to the small lymphocytes around it. And here is a mummified cell with this very degenerate, smudgy appearing nucleus, and the whole cell appears somewhat shrunken. Over here, even at this magnification, we can see that there are some pale areas. And zooming in, this is an example of a lacuna cell where you can see the large reed Sternberg cell sitting within an empty space. And finally, a couple more examples of reed Sternberg cells. Here is another mononuclear reed Sternberg cell. And here is a classical reed Sternberg cell. Again, take note of the small lymphocytes in the background. So in summary, this is an example of nodular sclerosis type of Hodgkin lymphoma. And this is a classical Hodgkin lymphoma occurring in young adults usually or in elderly patients. And this is a type of classical Hodgkin lymphoma it usually has a good prognosis and it is recognized by identifying reed Sternberg cells and their variants. It is important also to take note that reed Sternberg like cells can be seen in other types of lymphomas, including other B cell lymphomas as well as some T cell lymphomas. Because of this, the diagnosis has to be made not only looking at morphology or cytomorphology, but also together in conjunction with clinical findings, immunohistochemical testing, as well as molecular testing. Thank you.